Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. Guess what we're going to do today? Today, we're going to make an Italian sandwich, but one that's only popular in one part of the United States. Now, if you're from Binghamton, New York, you know what it is, but the rest of you, today you're going to learn how to make speedies. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. That's good, man. Cue the theme song. That's right, folks. Today, we're gonna make some speedies. Now, like I said before, unless you're around a certain area of the United States, you have no idea what a speedy is. And let me tell you the story of how this went. Years ago, when I was a younger man, and playing in a rock band on the road, playing every night in a bar, we toured through, you know, whole eastern part of the United States. When we'd get to a certain area in New York, I'd see these restaurants and stands and side stands and things on menus and it say spide eyes spide eyes and i used to think what the heck is a spidey spidey spide eye what the heck is a spidey i used to think these suckers eat spiders up here or what but no somebody told me that it's speedies and it's a sandwich a thai italian sandwich i thought what the heck is that so i'll tell you something i looked it up on my internet and on my wikipedia I got the description. Here's what it says. It says the term spidey, but it's pronounced speedy, I guess, comes from the Italian spiedo, spiedo, which means spit. Now, not the saliva kind, like a spit, like a metal spit over a fire. That's what it means. So spiedini, which is where speedies comes from, that's like a little spit, which is, guess what? A skewer. So what we do is... We cook the meat on a skewer, and that's where the term speedy comes from. Now, these Italian people from the Abruzzo region, now the Abruzzo region, that's where I'm from. So I can relate to this dish. They settled in New York State, around Binghamton. Around Binghamton, New York. Now check it out, right here, look. Right there. That's Binghamton, New York. And that's where they eat speedies. Okay? Now, it came from the Abruzzo region of Italy, and, uh-oh, wait a minute. I forgot to make an Italy map, but ho hold on a second. That's like Italy, the boot, right? Yeah. And, and Abruzzo roams over here, and the Abruzzo region's over here. I'm Abruzzese, and that's where it comes from. Here's a Roma down here. This would be Sicily sort of over here. That's the toe of the boot. I forget, Puglia, Puglia. Anyway, Abruzzo, okay? So, now, enough of this stuff. What it is is it's cut up hunks of meat put in a marinade, a special marinade, and left in there for a long, long time. And then, those hunks of meat are grilled on the spits over a charcoal fire. They're kind of seared. And then, after they're seared and all charred and cooked good, they take the spit and they put it right in a roll and pull the meat right out and you got yourself your sandwich called the Speedy. Yep, that's what it is. So that's what we're going to make today. Now look, Back in the old country, they make them out of goat. And if they don't got a goat, they get a lamb. Now, I gotta tell you something. The smoking guitar player has a little problem with lamb because he used to watch Jerry Lewis and Lamb Chop on TV, and I can't eat no lamb. Okay? The other thing is, they got this special sauce, and it's got a whole bunch of ingredients, and one of those ingredients is mint. And the only thing the smoking guitar player likes that tastes like a, is mint is a mint. So I don't want that either. So we're going to make our own sauce, and we're going to do it using Mella Yella from Tasty Licks Barbecue. Now, let me just tell you something. That sauce, it's got a name. It's called Zuzu Sauce. Zuzu. Can you believe it? Zuzu Sauce. We're going to make it with Mella Yella. This has almost all the same stuff in it that the regular Speedy Sauce has. But if you're too lazy to make it yourself, you can always go out and buy this here. Salamita. 
New York State Fair Speedy Sauce. Right there. Now you can buy that on our website or you can go get it at the grocery store, but a lot of places don't have it. But that's all you need. Okay? So we're going to show you how to make a quick Zuzu sauce using the Melayella. We're going to cut up our meat. We're going to show you how to grill it. And then we're going to eat it. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so here's Tyler, and here's our Primo Oval XL grill, and he's going to use a loop lighter to get a fire going right there. Now you see we got the charcoal piled on the one side. We're going to put our deflector plates over here. It'll be indirect, and over there is going to be a direct hot fire for searing. And I'm going to take my cast iron grill, which you see right here, from my big green egg, and I'm going to put it over there so we got cast iron. Okay, Tyler, you get it going. Okay, let's go back inside and make them speedy. Okay, so we're going to make our Zuzu sauce. And we're gonna make our own special tasty Zuzu sauce using Nelly Yell. Now, I got myself my Oster, Oster machine here, blender. I'll show you what we're gonna do. I got like some extra virgin olive oil. Uh oh, it's a brand new one, I gotta open it up. I'm trying not to splatter it all over the place. I'm gonna put two cups in here, because we're gonna make a pretty big batch. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna make enough to marinate our chicken. We're also going to make enough to put in that little squeezy bottle you see there on the table. And that's going to be a little dressing. Okay, so there's the olive oil. Then we're going to put two cups of white vinegar. Here we go. So we got a, like equal amounts. I consider this like a double batch, but it's, it's a nice amount. And then we're going to put a third of a cup of Meliella. Now you could probably put a half or maybe a, well, anywhere, quarter to a half. I'm going to put a third. But, you know, pretty much. And you know why we put pretty much in here? Because more is better and too much is just right. That's what I said. You heard it here first. Oh, yeah. Now, let me tell you. Oh, that has lemon and rosemary and all kinds of good spices in it. Amazingly good. Now, be sure to put the lid on your oyster machine. Then we're going to do, let's see, liquefy. Maybe hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. You know what they say, faster is better. Okay, that's our Zuzu sauce. That's what we're gonna marinate our chicken in and we're gonna use some for dressing. So let's get that chicken going. Okay folks, so what I got myself here is the stuff I'm gonna need for the next step. We got some boneless, skinless chicken breast right here. And over here, we got some cut up boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now normally they use breast meat, but I thought I'd try some thigh meat too, because, you know, that's good too. So now, the next thing is for the speedies. These speedies get marinated, like when they do the beef speedies and the goat and the lamb speedies, they marinate that meat for days, sometimes weeks. And the chicken they do for at least a day, sometimes two or three days, but you know what? I only decided I wanted speedies this morning. So I didn't have time to do that a day or two ahead of time. So for marinating, I'm going to use the Marinade Express Gizmo. This is a machine we sell that I've been using one of these for years. And what this thing does is it vacuums the meat. Everything gets done under a vacuum. We're going to put our Zuzu sauce marinade in there. And we're going to vacuum it. And then we put it on this tumbler. It tumbles for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, it does the work of like a whole overnight. So if you figure overnight's 12 hours, I might give it two 20-minute cycles. But anyway. I'm going to do it right now. So it's got this baffle thing in here which kind of massages the meat as it's tumbling. So let me take a minute here and put it in there. There we go. There's the dark meat. Now we're not going to use all of our juju sauce. We're going to reserve some, meaning we're going to keep it around. And we're going to use it as a, as a dressing on top of the meat and on top of the buns. Now for the rolls on this, typically they use hot dog rolls with some kind of soft white roll. You can use like your Italian roll. Around here we call them like a hoagie. A hoagie roll. Okay? Now, there we go. Now we're going to get rid of the pan. Watch this here. I just buzzed my Zuzu sauce so it's nice and mixed. I'm going to pour. Oh. And this has the Mella Yella seasoning in it as its base. Man, does that smell good. Holy cow, that smells good. Now we're going to cover them up pretty good and we're going to save some. I think that's about enough. So I got all my meat and my Zuzu sauce in here. The next step is to put the lid on and put it on tight so it's got a good seal. We want a good yeah. seal on there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna put it under vacuum. We're gonna hook our vacuum hose up 
And right there, we're going to push the vacuum button, and it's going to start in a minute. See? There it goes. There's a little gauge on here. It reads how much it's vacuuming. And when it's done, it'll shut itself off. So we're going to let it work for a while, and then we'll be back. Okay. Okay, folks. So we let our chicken sit in the marinade and get vacuumed. And all the air has been vacuumed out by the Marinade Express. And we closed it off, and now we're going to take it and do the next part of the magic. And that is rotate it. Rotate! Hit the button. It says rotate. There you go. 20 minutes it's set for. That baby's going to rotate for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, the paddles in here massage the meat, and it's under vacuum. Then the marinade works its way into the meat of the magic of the machine. And then we're going to make the speedies. We'll be back later. Okay, folks, our marinator just stopped spinning, and I'm going to get ready to make, take that away, sir, to make some speedies. Now, let me tell you, I got some more of my stuff here. I didn't go through this before, but I got these metal skewers. You know, for a Tasty Licks barbecue supply, you know, sells a lot of stuff like this. We got all different kind of skewers. We got these here. These are nice. These are nice wood ones that are flat, you know, and uh, that way when you turn your meat, they kind of hold it on there and it doesn't spin around. And then if you really want to get into it, the piece de resistance in that kind of an idea is this kind of a thing right here. You know, you put your meat through there and then you can flip it around and stuff. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to soak some of these in wood, and uh, wood ones in water. We're going to get them ready and we'll do some of that. But we're, right now we're going to go and we're going to make some skewers and we're going to get them on the grill. Now this was under vacuum. Listen. Hear that? That's the air being let in. Now the next trick is getting this baby open. There you go. Okay, now it's open. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to put them on the skewers. We're going to get those out of the way. Oh, we also have our instant read thermometer here. We're going to grill these hot and fast on a charcoal fire. We're going to char them, do them hot and fast. We're going to get them to 155 degrees, pull them off, let them rest, cook, finish at 160-ish. And then we're going to eat them in nice, soft, white bread rolls. So, I'm moving my stuff around here a lot. I know you're neurotic while well, you're right. Okay, so let's start out here. Here we go. You ready? Watch this now. I'm going to put one on there. Now, the trick here is not to stab your guitar playing fingers if you ever want to play the thing again. We're going to try and get all white meat on this one here. It's hard to tell. It's Oh, man, does that smell good? That's mellow yellow seasoning. That's right. Here's a nice hunk of white meat on there. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Now we're going to put this on there. We're going to get some of these on the grill. Okay, so we're going to show you what each kind looks like. So there's another piece of white meat on there. Maybe we can get one more on there. Oh, almost lost a piece on the floor. The dog would have liked that. Okay, so that's one, one, what one looks like there. Now we'll get another one here and we'll do it in dark meat. I know this is like, you know, really exciting. This is making your day. So uh, here we go. Now we're going to make some with the thigh meat. We're going to, we kind of, those. that's a little flatter. So I kind of loop it over and make little loops. You can see what I'm doing there, little loops. And uh, we're going to get these, we're going to show you what they look like on the grill. Okay, folks, we're outside our store. And right here, I got myself a Primo grill. Take a look at that. That's a Primo Oval XL, and it's at 500 degrees, hot and fast. We're going to cook these hot and fast. Right here, we got our speedy kebabers over here. So watch this now. I'm going to show you how I got this set up. Now you'll see I got a cast iron grate on here. That's actually from my big green egg, but I borrowed it and put it over here. And we're going to put these babies right on here. Now this side is set up indirect. We're going to leave the handles kind of hang over. But this is the last time I can touch these handles with just these rubber gloves on. We're going to have to go to Tom's from here. Oh, does that smell good? Okay, there you go. Now we'll check them in a few minutes. Okay, let's take a quick look and see how they're doing. It's been about three, four minutes. Now what's going to happen is we oiled this grate really a lot, but they're going to stick a little bit anyway. Now not too bad, not too bad, but they'll free, they'll they'll come free when they're when they're cooked good. We'll come back in another couple minutes. Okay, so it's been you know three four minutes. Let's check them out. Oh man, does it smell good? Okay, now that's what you want. Maybe even a little more charred than that, but I'm going to give them a quarter turn. Oh, these are getting perfect. Quarter turn, quarter turn, 
quarter turn. Okay, we're gonna come back three, four minutes. Okay, we got like seven or eight minutes in it here. Now let's see how our speedies are doing. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. Now just for the fun of it, let's take the temperature. I got 101 in that one. I got 122 there. I got 102 there, so we're gonna turn them. Watch how I do it. Oh man, are they getting good or what? Oh, now they're starting to char a little bit. Look at that one. I'm gonna put that one all the way over. That's our red meat. That one there's our dark meat right there. We want to get to about 150, 160. We're going to let them on a couple more minutes. Okay, we're out here in front of our store cooking speedies, and they're just done now. So let's take a look and see what we... Oh, now this one here got done a little early, and I took my in, uh, instant read thermometer right there, and I've been checking them. They're at 155, which is right where I want them, you know? And uh, this one got done a little early. It's smaller pieces, so I'm taking them off. And you don't want to be touch grabbing these with your hands, man. Them skewers are really hot. I mean, really hot. So we're going to take them inside, and we're going to see what they taste like. How you make a speedy. Now, you get your hot dog roll or your soft white Italian roll. You put your meat in there, and you grab it, and you pull it out, and there's a speedy. So let's see what it tastes like. Okay, folks. Guess what I got myself? I got three innocent bystanders. That's right. They thought they came into the store to, to shop, but instead, I'm using them. I'm using them as guinea pigs. <laughs> anyway, we got the speedies here. Now, before we taste these, I want to ask you fellas, has anybody ever eaten a speedy in this store before? Not no. in this store. No. Have you had a speedy, in fact, sir? No, I have not. He has not had a speedy, in fact. How about you? No, you? Yeah. You had one? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> let's eat them. Go ahead, take a bite. Take a big bite right now, fellas. I'm going to get mine right here, too. Oh! Mmm, -hmm. wait a minute. I dropped a piece. Now, nah, tell me, is it good? It's really good. Delicious. Is it tender? Yes. Juicy? Yes. How about the flavor of the rub? Is that good? Wonderful. Hey, you think you want a little of this more in here? Some of this goo? Goo is some good. Speedy goo. Now, wait a minute. Now we put some speedy goo on there, but you know what? How about a little more of this here? Oh, yellow. Oh, yeah. Now that we can I have some, please? You certainly can. Okay, fellas. Now, you never tasted them like that before, so give them a try again. That's good eating. Even better? Even better. That's yeah. right. You heard it here. Right at Tasty Licks Barbecue in Chilling, Pennsylvania. Make yourself a speedy just like they do in Bay Hampton, New York. We'll see you next time. Go ahead, Dean. Okay, let's film the three of us, Dean. Okay. Wonderful. Now Terrific. Amazing. Really good.